is awesome. All right, time now for your pinpoint weather and traffic together. Not too bad today. Won't be so awesome, though, on that busy travel day on Wednesday. Yeah. Hey, we've got a lot to talk about, sort of uh, seesawing temperatures. We've had some showers overnight. Those are moving out. It's going to be cooler today after hitting that high of 64 degrees yesterday afternoon. Another beautiful, mild weekend here in November. And it looks like we'll be back in the mild air again by the upcoming weekend as well. Right now, though, we're at 47 in East Providence. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar. You can see the showers at the coast moving further out to sea now this morning. And we're looking at dry weather for the rest of the day. So the top headline, this temperature roller coaster continues here this week. Uh, second headline, as Patrick mentioned, we're looking at uh, some rain on Wednesday. And it could be a real soaker uh, during the daytime Wednesday for travelers. It does look like it'll dry out for Thanksgiving and some great weather for Black Friday shopping this year. Currently, though, outside, 49. It's mostly cloudy in Woonsocket, 49 in Attleboro, 51 in Cranston. We're down to 49 in Tipperton, about 50. And at Kushnet, at the bus stop this morning, temperatures expecting to uh, continue to drop. Mid and upper 40s here as we get towards the 8.30 time frame. And then much cooler in the afternoon compared to yesterday. Skies turning partly sunny, about 46 to 50 degrees in the afternoon. Here's what's happening. Cold front coming through. So it's bringing in that cooler air from the north. The front's just going to be shifting its way off the coastline during the course of the daytime today. And the cooler air settling in behind. In fact, you can see here we're 50 in uh, Rhode Island, 38 in Albany right now, and only 30 in Burlington. So we've got a north northeasterly wind for today. That shift in the wind direction dragging down that cooler air for us. And so the result will be temperatures that will be in the upper 40s to about 50 for this afternoon. So in some spots, as much as 15 degrees cooler than yesterday. Uh, 50 in Wickford for a high, 49 in Coventry. Clouds, some sun in the afternoon. I do expect skies to clear the further north that you are. So I do have us becoming mostly sunny in Burville and Foster Center, about 49 in Johnston and 47 this afternoon in Cumberland. Southeastern Mass in the uh, upper 40s to around 50. Clouds, sun mixing. Much cooler than yesterday, Little Compton and Middletown highs, both th uh, those locations right around 50 degrees. Big night tonight up at Gillette Stadium, Foxborough. We're looking at chilly uh, temperatures for the game, but nice night. 36 degrees, your temperature at 830, humidity at about 60 percent. It's going to be dry, and we're looking at a northeast wind at about 8 miles an hour. Seven-day future cast. Late night lows down to about 32 tonight, 49 tomorrow. We start off with sunshine. Clouds will roll in in the later afternoon and evening, and by Tuesday night, it's raining. It looks like it'll be periods of rain through much of the day on Wednesday, heavy at times. You know, at the moment, our computer models are showing as much as one to three inches of rain in spots on Wednesday. So we're talking again about a significant amount of rainfall that could lead to street flooding if you're trying to hit the highways Wednesday. Uh, for your Thanksgiving Thursday, clearing skies, highs around 50. It looks dry and milder fi Friday at 58 in the weekend. Beautiful upper 50s to near 60 each afternoon. WPRI.com is the place to go to get your updated future cast 24-7. Let's get another check though on your Monday morning commute with Jam Cam.